Alright everybody, and welcome back to We Happy Few. Today, we're going to be starting up the We All Fall Down DLC. Looking forward to this one. The final DLC we have on our list to do. And I'm excited to see how everything wraps up. That said, let's get started. People in town are getting a tad bit skinny. I think that's to death. Give me my joy. Oh, people have to know. I need my joy. You're wicked and selfish, and I hate you. No. Oh, we're doing her story. Got to find a mood booth. kind of new mechanics we're going to get in this one. She can carry a good bit. Move speed? Armor? What? She has a whip. Huh. She has all kinds of stuff. Interesting. Are we going back to the survival mechanics? Indiana Jones time, let's go! You alright, Miss Bing? Might want to top up if, if I ain't rude to say so. Okay. Miss Bing, there's going to be a bear! Is there? Nothing to see, nothing to see. Move along, please, nothing to worry about. Everything's in order. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. How long has there been a plague in the streets? Oh, hello, Miss Big. Not nothing to worry about. Everything is tip top. Really? I think it. Everybody's got red eyes, man. It's creepy. That's not good. We lost health for that. Okay. This is getting creepy already. Your death continues to look good. This is them. We must have this week's ounce of flesh. I'll have it in a few days. I heard you got a bit of salty rat you've been saving for an occasion. Um. Now, now, what's all this said? Did I hear you had a spot of meat to spare then? Mustn't haul food, Mrs. M. Wouldn't want people thinking you're a downer, innit? Man, <sighs> everything seems a lot creepier when you're going through withdrawals. There's got to be a mood withdrawals. booth somewhere. A mood booth? All right. Stomach hurts. Did you eat something rotten? I haven't eaten at all. Oh, well, that's normal then. Ha! Ah. Well, yeah, that's that's normal then. What are they all doing? Is that blood? Oof. Blokes wouldn't just sit there and let me natter on. I feel like I could tell you anything. Well, yeah, he's dead. He has no choice but to sit there. You're priceless, you know that? No one could spin a yarn like you. Go on, tell me another. Wow, this doesn't look good. Just let me pass, I guess. Uh -oh. No, my bugs, my bugs. There, 
I'll take my joy and forget this ever happened. Um, Miss Ping, there isn't anybody in there. What are we doing? You can utilize a facility. What are we doing here? <laughs> Taking our joy, I hope. Good Lord, Martin, you, um, you might want to take a lot, eh? Wouldn't want to mistake you for a towner, eh? I, <laughs> I, I can't oh. take my joy. I have to... Sweet Jesus. Keep a clear head. You are. You've got downer. You best come with me, ma'am. Miss Peggy's a downer! 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 She's a downer! That can't be good. I am on joy. It's an experimental formula. Don't. They won't listen. There she is. Uh -oh. Man, we're out. TV. I can't believe I'm hiding from the police. This is from Edwin Powell of Hoyling. Dear Mr. Worthing. Oh, Edwin. Let's be friends, shall we? Nope. Ah, okay. Well, is there anything else we can do? Uh. Noise. This game's gone all Assassin's Creed, man. Boosh. Stop staring at me! You're running from the authorities. Not now, Mother, please. You've shut me out of your thoughts for so many years. I can't, I just can't. Her mother's Indian? Neat. We ought to quit while we're ahead. Yep. We're gonna go ahead and quit that right now. <laughs> Oof. Bon voyage. Did they commit suicide? They took poison. I can't think with all these bobbies around me and all this death. I've got to get somewhere quiet. <laughs> Going down. Come to see how the other half rots. Yes. Come to help. No. Haven't you helped it up already? Maybe. What then must we do? Please, I'm throwing up and everything's horrible. If I just took my joy, it would all go back to bright and lovely. Well, I can hardly stop you. I'm only an uncomfortable memory, but I can't. I have to keep a clear head till I can tell father what's going on out there. Has father changed very much since we lived in the palace? Because he was always excruciatingly well informed about what was going on then. He doesn't know this. He can't. If he knew, he would fix it. Yes, well. It's lovely that you're thinking of your mother again. One hates to be forgotten. Even if I'm in a faraway country and, for all you know, dead for years. He's probably at the Victory Memorial Camp. 
I can walk there on the underground tracks. Is this the general? Oh. Doodlebug. Yeah. To what do I owe the pleasure? I ran into Ollie Starkey. Good lord, are you all right? He thinks the town is running out of food and we're all going to die. He, he always did have a keen sense of drama. You know, he used to be a song and dance man. People are eating charcoal, Daddy. And there's a plague in the village. Well, you might have told me you were planning to go off your joy. Couldn't we give them all blackberry? They could make plants, plant vegetables, even start the trade over the bridge again. They don't even know they're starving. Sally Boyle can barely make enough blackberry for the bobbies. But don't you worry. Your man, Dr. Verloc, is working on a treatment that will put everyone back on the right track. So we just... wait. We can't do nothing. Nothing is exactly what we must do. If our people realize they're running out of food, they'll kill each other for the last box of V-meat. Doing your duty isn't always pretty. You don't always get a bright, shiny medal. But a few people on top doing their duty, us, is the only thing that keeps us from savagery. What can I do? Let me help. You have such a keen sense of duty. Yes, help. Organize a Simon Says competition. Keep them distracted until your man comes through. He will come through, won't he? Yes. Father. But for God's sake, go back on your joy. You'll only complicate things. I suppose I better check on Dr. Verloc. Make sure he really is close to a solution. Uh, sounds like a good course of action to me. Taking the underground right back to those bobbies. Ow. Ow. Stop it. given us any way to heal ourselves yet. Oh my goodness. Healing balm. Right on cue. I like it. Uh... It did one? Yeah. Okay. Good. That's a start. We need more though. How long have they been jerry-rigging these walkways? That's a long way down, man. That's not good. Bad, buddy. Electricity hurts. Nice. One clearly sees the superiority of Western civilization. Spare me your revolutionary rhetoric. That's what landed you in jail. What landed me in jail was refusing to accept the unacceptable. 
If you say so, Mom. Well, he did try to stab you. He did? Oh, yes, right. Yes, he did. Very naughty, that one. Very naughty. Oh, the spankings. Did you hear Miss Bing went full downer? Nah, nah, that was a misidentification. The general straightened it all out. You see her, you be respectful in a regular fashion. This is Victoria Bing. Let me in, please. I need to speak to Dr. Verloc. Ah, oh, Miss Bing. Uh, I wouldn't quite enter the premises at the moment, ma'am. Why not? Well, as it happens, uh, there's a rather intensive uh, beautification procedure underway. Uh, you really wouldn't believe how beautificated the facility's looking. Why would that... Oh. Oh, dear. It was getting more and more beautificated in there by the minute. But I really do have urgent business with Dr. Verloc. All right, ma'am. As the Chinese say, don't say I didn't warn you. Okay. Feeling all right there, Miss Bing? I just received the most peculiar pronunciamento about an altercation at a mood. Executive committee business. Oh, well, that's all right then, ma'am. Sorry to bother. Okay. If only Arthur had this uh, easy of a time. Oh, Miss Bing! This, uh, uh, ain't no place for, for a lady at the moment, Mom. They, they, they've gone completely mental in there. I'm here to speak with Dr. Verloc. The workers are, um, a, a tad cross with Dr. V, Miss Bing. Uh, he's barricaded himself up in his office and he won't come out until we give him the all clear. Your very own uprising. Can you get it sorted? Not to worry, ma'am. We'll put down these troublemakers uh, as soon as we can get in. They've, uh, cut the power. Now listen, Tom Ronnie. No! We are trying to do our job. Maybe they will be too distracted by their little riot to see me slip through there. Dr. B's failure to ensure the job... We've still got the upper hand, lads. Our shop steward's got a key card. And the only way they're getting on the floor is through him. I'd like to see him try to take it away from him. Oh. Well, he's a bruiser, isn't he? Glad he's on our side. This sounds like we're going to end up with a boss fight coming up. Keep your eyes on the doors, lads. Nobody in or out. And nobody disturbs my siesta. No wonder Verloc's locked himself away. With that brute poking around. If I can get the power back on, the bobbies will get things sorted. Then maybe Tony Verloc will come out of hiding. Hmm, I feel like this is a new mechanic we're about to discover. Okay, okay. Across here. Up here. Up there. Oh, that's very, very, very far down indeed. Oh, um. This 
is a run and jump and click situation, I think. Whew. Alright, got it. There we go. is done, Tony Verloc and I are going to have a little chat about management principles. If you say so. What? Come on. Um. Oh, I see what I gotta do. Alright, we gotta wait for this laser. Thinking around. Oh, we need a card for this? Oh. Oh, that's not good. You stay out of this, Miss Bing. Yes. Maybe in his office? No. Oh. Take no chances, legs. If they burn down his land, his curtains for our entire civilization. Attention! Attention! The constabulary is pleased to report that the beautification efforts here for two taking place on these here premises have concluded satisfactorily. You may resume your regular course of workday activities. Off you go. All's well that ends well, Dr. V. No need to thank us. Miss Bing! It's been too long. You seem to be having a bit of a mutiny. <laughs> oh, they do that. Not to worry, everything is very well in hand. Very promising lines of research. All sorts of... I hope they haven't had one of your bad batches. Oh, you're rather well informed. I can't just think faster, Miss Bing. I work until every thought is rubbish, and then I try to sleep. If... If I had Sally Boyle back... I seriously doubt my father would return her to you. I swear, I am this close to a permanent solution. But even if it doesn't work, at some point, you know, we'll be down to a sustainable population. That certainly is a permanent solution. There's no food coming over the bridge, and we're not growing any. So how many of us are sustainable, Tony? You seem a bit... off. You know, a bit sad. He wants to lock you up. I've got a lovely pygmy. Tony, I'm not someone you can throw into a cell like poor Mad Harry. Yes, well, please go back and tell the executive committee I'll have a brilliant new formula presently. 
He won't ever have a solution, will he? Didn't you hear him? When enough people die, the rest will have food. Oh, you've got to get people off these ridiculous pills. I'll never convince father of that. Oh, forget your damn father. It's a miracle he hasn't already run for the hills. He's just lost hope. Everyone's let him down. You can't lead if no one will follow. I have to prove to him that people will be reasonable once they come off their joy. But they won't do it willingly. Some of your father's soldiers became addicted to opium. Punishing them was no use. So he locked them up until they weren't addicted anymore. Yes. I could cut off the joy to the whole island. All I have to do is shut down its allocator hub. Then father will see people can come to their senses. One island? Huh. I have never found half measures to be useful. They only make the oppressor angry. That's the attitude that got you sent to prison. That's the attitude that got me a country. What have you got? Um, I mean, fair point. Miss Bing, Dr. V would like you to come back. It's the water system. Those old pipes are contaminating the joy, you see. He's got some blueprints to show you. Some other time, perhaps. We won't take no for an answer. Stop her! Stop um, Miss Bing! No. <laughs> Dark. The Bobbies won't care whose daughter I am if I'm breaking curfew. I'd be more worried about the doctors. That man is desperate. He'll send every man he's got. Ah! Did the water taste a bit funny to you this morning? What do you mean? Just a bit off. It had a smell, I thought. Well, it couldn't be off. Made of soda. Oh, sure, it was nothing to worry about. Of course not. Uncle Jack has warned us. You must have imagined it. Oh, you're right. It can't be anything to worry about. If you catch yourself worrying, pop a joy. You'll be right as rain in no time. You're right. I should have. Got to back by another beautification project. Oh, bloody East End is being beautified now. So, it's spreading then? The plague? How are we supposed to earn a living? There'll be no one left to tax. It ain't right we have to worry about society. Society's supposed to worry about us. All the thugs know. Why didn't I? Sorry, ma'am. I must confirm that you're not conveying any, uh, contraband. You already cleaned me out, Frankie. I'm as hungry as you are. All right, everybody, and that's going to do it for us here today. Thank you so much for stopping out. I greatly appreciate you. Remember to get in those giveaways before you leave. And check out the Twitter and the Twitch as we're doing fun things out there all the time. As well as more giveaways to be had. But until next time, take care of yourself. Take care of your loved ones. Stay healthy out there. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.